What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, if you see something that you like here today, please don't forget to subscribe at some point. For those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So I was debating on what would be a good topic for Saturday, because you know, Saturday is game day. I'm gonna be quite busy at work, and I wanted to leave you guys with something good to really, really watch. And I thought about it, and I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and cover the 10 fragrances that have garnered me the most attention over the last two summers as far as stuff I've had last year and stuff that's really garnered me some attention and gotten me some compliments so far this year because my summer started before a lot of your summers did because I'm down here in South Texas. So let's talk about them. Stay tuned. So jumping off into the first one might be kind of obvious because it works for a lot of people. It's featured quite often this time of year in a lot of videos and for good reason. It's from Dolce & Gabbana. It's light blue. Oh, intense. It's a performer. People love the way this thing smells coming off of your skin. Directly off of skin might be a little much for some. I know it was for me at first, but the trail with this one, it's all in the trail this stuff smells really really good when you walk by somebody um, i've been around several people that have this one former co-workers at my last job that were wearing this one and i'm like, man what are you smelling that smells kind of like light blue and yeah man it's light blue oh intense and it's worked for me every time i've worn it somebody says something i mean people talk about it all the time it's not hyped for no good reason this stuff's hyped and it's justified and that's dolce and gabbana light blue the O Intense. Next is one that I actually did a full review on. And in a sense, it's Elysium if you take away the fougere quality, the herbaceous notes, pretty much all the green aspects of it. It's from Sammy Andrus Fragrances. Blue Sapphire. This stuff is incredible. It's a citrus aromatic version of Elysium, basically. This stuff smells great. I'm telling you, you just take away the fougere quality and the herbaceous notes and what's left is Blue Sapphire, and Blue Sapphire is fantastic. It smells incredible, it performs very well. It's my favorite from the house. I have almost all of Sammy's fragrances, and I can tell you right now, Blue Sapphire, in my opinion, if there's one to get, Blue Sapphire is the one. My wife loves the way this one smells on me. I've had a few strangers stop me and ask me what I was wearing. I've had coworkers stop and ask me what I was wearing the few times I've worn this to work. This stuff works. And it's cheap. It's like 25 bucks for a one ounce. Try it out. There's a link below for Sammy's page if you want to check it out. And that's Blue Sapphire. Sammy Andrews Fragrances. Next is one that it sits right here on my desk. And every time I wear it, it never fails. It garners me some attention because it smells great and it projects. It's a performer. It's long lasting. It's very powerful. It's my favorite aquatic blue fragrance. My favorite blue fragrance is Salvatore Ferragama Aqua Essenziale Blue, but my favorite aquatic blue fragrance is from Bulgari, and it's Aqua Atlantique. This stuff is so powerful, it's unreal. This was actually the first full review that I did on this channel last summer. This stuff's great. If you've yet to try this, you need to try this. It's a compliment magnet. It smells great. This performs kind of better than light blue O Intense does. And to be honest with you, if I had to pick one of the two, I'm picking Aqua Atlantique because this stuff is fantastic. I love the way this one smells. Pretty much everybody around me that's ever said anything anyways loves the way this smells. This is a compliment machine in the heat, and that's exactly what it's good for too. This is great for the heat. Try it out when you get a chance. It's very aquatic, very marine. It's kind of like a, it's mixing Dylan Blue with the Bulgari Aqua DNA. You put those two together and you pretty much get Aqua Atlantique. Absolutely worth having. Next, speaking of putting two fragrance to, fragrances together to get one, this is like putting Dior Sauvage together with Polo Blue. Polo Deep Blue Parfum. Another one works. Compliments, compliments, compliments. Every time I wear it, wife likes the way this one smells. My aunt really likes the way this one smells. 
Um, and I got a specific coworker that the two times I've worn it to work, they called it out both times. The second time, they're like, ooh, you're wearing that same fragrance again, aren't you? Aren't you? Yep, Polo Deep Blue Parfum. I know it doesn't perform as well on some as it does for me. I get about seven to eight hours-ish. Um, some have reported five to six, which for a parfum concentration, I can understand the complaint. Uh, but it smells great, and like I said, I don't have any lackluster performance. It's not what you would expect from a parfum. I get that, but it projects better than most parfums to, for sure. And this is one of my favorite releases of recent memory because I love blue fragrances. Didn't even realize how much I love blue fragrances till a couple of people pointed it out to me. But Polo D Blue Parfum, heavily complimented. Great take on the Polo Blue DNA with a whole lot of Ambroxan. If you like Ambroxan and you like blue, you and everyone around you will like Polo Deep Blue Parfum. I'm telling you. Next, this is one I actually try. I make it a point not to really talk about much on the channel because it's just so hard to get. Um, and I don't really like to push it and talk about how great it is because it is great when it's just so difficult for everyone to find because I don't know if it's been discontinued or not. I have a feeling it might be. It's the best version, in my opinion, of the Dior Homme Cologne DNA. Mercedes-Benz Cologne. I, I try not to talk about it because this stuff is so good. It's so highly sought after by everyone. Because this, God, it smells so good. This performs, it lasts longer and projects heavier than Dior Homme Cologne. And smells pretty much just like Dior Homme Cologne. This is better than Dior Homme Cologne. If I had to pick one out of all of them, this is the one. And unfortunately, I only have the one bottle. And it's a citrus fragrance, so you can't really keep it forever. You gotta, you gotta use it. You can't save the sprays with something like this. When I spray it, I spray it pretty heavy. I've started to put a little bit of a dent in it. But this stuff smells great. When somebody smells you when you walk by with this, they're gonna wanna know what the hell it is because it smells so refreshing. It's got the ice cold lemonade vibe that Dior Homme Cologne is known for with some added orange. The orange is a lot more pronounced than this one. Um, you're definitely getting the, the amalgamation of the citruses and it stays for a long time. I've had people in the comments before where I've mentioned this, talk about getting eight hours. And I believe it. I'm sure for some people it, it happens like that. Realistically, kind of five to six hours for most. I get about six, seven-ish, which for a citrus heavy bomb like this, it's fantastic. If you can find a bottle of this for a decent price, you will not be upset or dissatisfied. It is great. It is the must-have from Mercedes-Benz. It's the best, in a sense, Mercedes-Benz fragrance, really and truly. And that's Mercedes-Benz Cologne, the Dior Homme Cologne killer. Next, I know a lot of you have had similar results with this fragrance because it's kind of what it's known for. It's an Invictus Aqua type of smell. And it's extremely complimented. This wafts in the air real easy. It's very ozonic. Um, it's got some density to it. It's fizzy and effervescent up top, but it really gets out in the air and can grab somebody's attention through their nose. Mont Blanc, Legend Spirit. This stuff is great. I'm just saying. I've been saying for a while how low I'm running and I keep procrastinating and forgetting to get a bigger bottle. I want to get a 100 ml because I mean I'm way down here. I only got, I just wasted probably one of the last 30 or so sprays that I have. God, I smell it in the air. This stuff's great. You're going to love the way you smell and when people get a whiff of this, it's highly complimented. Yeah, it's not some monstrosity in performance. It's not a beast. But in the first couple of hours when people can really smell you, especially if you're in a, you know, well air conditioned indoor environment with a ceiling fan or something circulating air or you out a light breeze outside and you get downwind from somebody, somebody gets downwind from you, they're going to smell you. And I'm not saying everyone's going to say something, but a lot of the times people will want to know what you're wearing or tell you, wow, you smell really good. And that's legend spirit for you from Mont Blanc. This stuff is a compliment machine, not the strongest performer, but it's cheap. You can get a 100 ml for under $30 in most places. One ounce like this, on, you know, 20 ish and below. Worth owning, summer staple. Like I said, compliment magnet in the heat. And speaking of compliment magnets, this one actually got mixed reviews when it first came out. Um, kind of unfairly, not hated, but it's got, like I said, it's kind of mixed reviews. It's from the Aqua Dijot line. It's Aqua Dijot Absolute. 
this stuff just works as long as you like patchouli at least on my skin the patchouli really comes out it's very patchouli heavy in the transition and dry down the opening is delightful another ambroxan heavy fragrance um, very very marine note sea notes mainly that aquatic vibe but a bit more fruity there's a lot of citrus and fruits in here in the top that kind of burn off after a little while like those notes tend to um, and you're left with a lot of that ambroxan type smell and patchouli if you like patchouli aquatic and patchouli is basically the two the two best words to describe uh, this fragrance people around you are going to love the way you smell you gotta love the way you smell mainly you gotta like patchouli and c notes if you like that and you wear this somebody is gonna say something some point during the day because this stuff projects it lasts and it garners some compliments this stuff like i said it's great as long as you like patchouli aqua de joe giorgio armani absolute flanker this one may shock some of you the main reason this is even on this list is because every time and i am not exaggerating every single time i spray this i'm going to spray it out the shower tonight just to prove a point because i know she can hear me in the next room when i spray gap core man my wife loves the way this cheap clothing store fragrance smells i don't know what it is about it try it it's cheap next time you're in the mall swing by gap they have it it's like 12 bucks it's so cheap it doesn't last long but it projects heavy for that first 30 45 minutes and i'll tell you what my life my wife loves the way it smells i don't know if the lady in your life will like it or not but i can tell you from personal experience for a cheap clothing store fragrance from from a gap of all places this stuff works reels in the compliments i'm shocked she's not laughing because i know she can hear me right now i think she just doesn't want to be heard on the video but gap core man just take my word for it next time you got 15 bucks to waste at the mall grab a bottle and try it out next this is actually very good for evenings i find it's a great daily wear in the summer don't get me wrong but it's really hot where i'm at it's still 90 degrees at night easily and you don't want something too heavy if you're going to go out to dinner and go out and do something with your significant other. And I suggest wearing something like Armani Code Colonia. The blue fragrance of the line. Compliment machine. It's a fresh blue take on that sweet powdery tonka bean Armani Code DNA. This stuff just works. I don't wear it often. But when I do, somebody, somewhere, at some point, if nobody else, my wife anyways, tells me how good I smell and oh I like that one what are you wearing tonight Armani Code Colonia underrated nobody really talks about it it just works try it last but most certainly not least the most complimented fragrance I've ever worn just so happens to be an aquatic summer fragrance nothing of all my fragrances has ever garnered me more attention than this fragrance guys gals my wife family it don't matter when i wear it i get multiple people that say something about it in that first couple of hours when it's really projecting invictus aqua paco raban tester bottle that's why it says invictus aqua on the front this stuff works guys i'm just telling you i don't know how many of you get similar experiences like me this stuff smells so good decent performer on my skin sweetness is toned down still has that bubblegumness and a little bubblegummy in the opening powdery the violet leaf and the violet in this one really adds that powdery floral quality in the transition and dry down without being super powdery it maintains that marine quality the ambergris in this one it just makes it kind of ambroxan bomb but not overly ambroxan smelling more salty marine with a little bit of sweetness kind of the sweet salty sweet type of vibe going great for a casual day great to wear to work i probably wouldn't wear this in the evenings even though it is a compliment getter but it's definitely one that when you just want something fresh that you know people around you are going to enjoy smelling you're not going to offend anybody for as heavy as it projects in that first hour and a half try invictus aqua i'm pretty confident you will not regret this suggestion 
at least in my experience, this stuff just works. People love how this smells in the air. That's Invictus Aqua. Well, uh, well, guys, that's my 10. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. How many of these do you have already? I'm sure there's a few of these you were expecting because I've mentioned before the type of attention they garner me, especially things like Invictus Aqua. And then I'm not the only person you've heard it from many times about Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense. Um, I did switch to going 60 frames per second. That's why you see the focus going in and out. I had somebody complain in the comments on the last video. Um, let me know, guys. Does, do you not like the constant focusing? I could see how that could be irritating for some. If it does bother you, let me know, and I'll go back to 30 frames per second. You know, I definitely don't want something as minor as that to turn you guys off. You know, but if you enjoy having the, the fluidity of 60 FPS and it's refreshing for you, like some have told me, let me know down in the comments. Just looking for a little bit of video quality feedback. See if you guys prefer the new switch to 60 FPS or would you rather me go back to 30 FPS? And until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on any of these, I'm real confident there's a chance you might thank me later. Because I know for me, they work. Have a good one, guys.